It is Monday, the 18th of December, and we're going on a field trip. The time has come for Serena to get a new phone. She's had the same cell phone pretty much since we've been dating, almost. Uh, since like 2017, I think. July. July 2017. Yeah, so it'll be seven years this coming July. Um, so, goodness gracious. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> So Serena got the new phone. It's the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Yeah. She still has to like set it up and stuff, uh, transferring over all of the like tens of thousands of photos and documents on her only prior tens phone. Of thousands. That's still tens of thousands. <laughs> uh, in addition, you know, to that present, we also got Subway present because T-Mobile is next to Subway, and gosh darn it. I'm such a simple man that I can't smell bread and not go get some. So we got that. And then what's more is right when we got home, we got a package from my mom. Um, Christmas stuff. I think it's not only from her. I think it's like combined from a few different people, my brother, his wife. Uh, but either which way, we get to put presents under our little Charlie Brown tree, which is going to be nice. Um, and that's all the excitement for me today. I think Serena is itching to go purchase a case for her new phone. So she's gonna go check out that after we eat some lunch and I am going to get back to work. This starchy vegetable is a favorite of Samwise Gamgee and Drew the Ire of Smeagol. And it's also for dinner tonight. What's taters, precious? Of course, continuing to take advantage of the uh, large amount of chili we have. Serena set up her phone, and I think she's happy with it. I didn't get a chance to ask you, actually. How do you like the first 30 minutes or whatever it's been that you've used the phone? I just texted you a couple of times, that's pretty much it. Was I the first text message? Yeah. Ah! You're the only text message. Oh! It's an exclusive club. I'm flattered. Won't be the case for long. Uh, I'm very excited to hear more as she starts to use it because as i understand it it's got like a really really good camera um it's got <clears throat> an assortment of additional capabilities with the camera that serena's pretty excited to use so excited to see what transpires uh also excited to see this little one coneless it's not permanent uh serena gave her some some bath time but i feel like this is one of the longest durations that she's been coneless in a while um, over an hour now, at least. Goodness gracious, uh, Luna's probably even happier about it than we are. <laughs> uh, one thing I missed, uh, selfishly, was the little rubs. Like, the cats will rub on your leg when they walk by, when they're happy, or they want something or something, or for whatever reason they do it. It's cute, and I love it. And Luna's cone situation has kind of been hindering that. It's hard to rub when cone, you know? Physics and all that, it's amazing. Buddy, don't do that. While well, Luna's been improving, Gorn is getting worse. At least worse in terms of eating the decoration. What are you doing, man? It can't taste very good. I know it looks like it would taste good. But it definitely doesn't. Much unlike dinner. Dinner looks good and will be good. Oh my God, I did it again. I ate too much food. <laughs> Oh, uh, really, the potatoes were fine. Um, less potatoes than yesterday, as such, felt better. Where the problem uh, then came into play was the fact that this apple pie that we had gotten, oh, I don't know, several days ago, it was expiring? Technically, I think it's already expired, but it's more of a fresh best by date, not a, like, this is expired, you'll get sick if you eat it. But that being said, we wanted to finish it. So we did. <laughs> oh, and it pushed me over the edge. Um, my stomach, as a result of that, perhaps ever slightly unhappy with me. But the stomach will soon learn, if it hasn't learned already, that I make the rules around here. I guess that's never going to stop the stomach from, from arguing or from expressing displeasure. But, well, it's a tumultuous relationship, shall we say. Anyways... It was good. Overstuffing aside, it was good. It was a good evening. It was a good Monday. 
Uh, it didn't feel like Monday. I think that's kind of because we went to the to the store in the morning. We didn't usually do that on weekdays, definitely not Monday, but since Serena had the day off and I didn't have any work meetings, so why not? Why not, why not? It's a slow time of the year for uh, for work. I mean, it's funny, like, so I consider like YouTube and stuff still to be part of work and it's not a slow time for that. <laughs> it's a very busy time for that, even with, uh, you know, jumping back to only one daily series as opposed to the two that had been running on the channel for the last couple of months. It's a lot of stuff happening, a lot of stuff being worked on, all to get prepared for what's going to be a really, really, really important and really good 2024. A lot of, I don't want to say a lot of things planned. I do have some things planned, but not like an extreme amount of things planned. Really, I just have an extreme amount of uh, goals, I guess. And maybe that's not even the right way to put it. Maybe I just have like extremely lofty goals we'll say. Um, either which way, I got I got plans to bring those goals to fruition, so we'll see. <clears throat> I was able to secure another interview for the podcast, actually, and I'm going to talk about it now. Well, I'm not going to tell you who specifically it is, we'll say, because I am going to be interviewing them this Thursday, but their interview is not going to go up on the podcast until probably the first week of January just the way things are, are lining up interview-wise. So it's fine. We're not going to really talk about any, like, pressing up-to-date stuff. It's just going to be a great opportunity for me to yet again interview another significantly larger, significantly more established creator in the greater, like, Nintendo space gaming in general. But the dude does predominantly Nintendo stuff, we'll say. Good day. Good day. Hope you had the same. And I hope that I get to see you again tomorrow.